beatbox is the true fifth element of hip hop culture. Doug E. Fresh was the world's first beatboxer in 1913. <laughs> Beatboxing is a form of vocal percussion, basically the art of mimicking drum machines and imitation of various other musical instruments using one's mouth, lips, tongue and voice. Alem, who won the 4th World Beatbox Championship in 2015, follows Kenny Muhammad's beatboxing style who invented case name. Rising artist Gaurav Gambhir, who was amongst top 16 in the Indian Beatbox Championship. My name is Gaurav Gambhir. My stage name is Decipher. I uh, am a beatboxer. I started beatboxing in the year 2012 and I've been beatboxing since five years. Honestly, I don't think uh, everybody knows what beatboxing is even right now, even after two, four years of it gaining certain recognition. As Gaurav mentioned, let us see what people really know about beatboxing. Hey, I don't So the basics of beatboxing are basically drum sounds. Uh, there are three letters that you have. Uh, it's called B, uh, T and K. So B st uh, stands for the kick drum. So suppose if this is a drum kit that I have in front of myself, just imagine this is a drum kit. So if, uh, uh, if I have to use the kick, uh, I, I just have to say the letter B. So I would just say, I would say this. And if I have to, uh, you know, say the letter T, there is a way for that as well. So in a drum kit, there's also a hi-hat that you have, like the golden uh, thing that you can see. If you tap that, you will be able to hear a sound like And when you hit a snare, you get a sound like So this is what the, these are the basic sounds. So if you combine all these three sounds together, you get a beat like So this is like one of the basic beats uh, that these are the basic sounds that uh, beatboxers uh, should know. And if you know these sounds, you'll be able to do a lot of uh, stuff with this. This is how you basically start off with beatboxing. And then later on, uh, as you move forward, you can add more and more sounds. So if I do a basic beat like like I can add this sound, I can add a water drop. I can add that. I used to practice every day when everybody used to go to sleep <laughs> or whenever I used to go to take a shower because that is when you're all by yourself. Throughout the day, I used to continuously beatbox, like whatever stuff I already knew. I used to try to improvise on it. I went for an event called uh, the Freakin' Styles 4th Anniversary. Um, this was by a very famous crew called Freakin' Styles, uh, which is one of the first b-boy crews of India. And when I went over there, I saw that the host, uh, his name was Vineet Kumar. He's a beatboxer from Bangalore. He was beatboxing as well. And when I saw it for the first time, I couldn't believe that somebody could actually do this and it would be possible for a human being to do this. And that is how I got very attracted towards beatboxing.
more beatboxers are evolving as talented artists today than ever before. Beatboxing is still at the lowest level. Uh, in the past two, three years, it's slowly and steadily gaining recognition because some Indian beatboxers have gone for international competitions. They've funded their own trip. Uh, they have been featured on very famous international beatboxing channels. Bhave Sharma was the first Indian beatbox champion who also participated in Asia Beatbox Championship in 2017. There are other Indian artists like Anup Gaikwad and Ishan Langya. Uh, beatboxing has been used in certain Bollywood movies. होटल की रजिस्टर में लिखवाया है संगीता बट असली नाम तो श्रुति है ना मिस श्रुति से इन गुप्ता उम्र 26 25 सॉरी yeah. I got to be a part of this movie also called Gully Boy. So uh, my crew leader uh, Shakespeare, he basically uh, was approached to battle uh, Ranveer Singh in the movie. So they shot a song with us and uh, they've recorded two tracks with us. We never thought that, uh, you know, a Bollywood actor would be so humble and would be so uh, involved in the hip hop scene because uh, even if you see now like the movie shoot is done. But uh, we had an event called Gully Fest which happened recently. He came over there as well because he's really good friends with Divine and like Divine is one of the main characters on whom the whole movie is being made. To see even Zoya Akhtar at work, like I never thought that I would be I would get a chance to see her how she operates on set. Uh, my mother also, when she was here, she used to support me a lot. Uh, unfortunately, like last year in the month of October, she was uh, detected with cancer, stage 4 cancer. This is not curable. She passed away in the month of Feb this year. That was a pretty difficult time for me, uh, even, you know, in terms of how my life was going on. My parents have been supportive. They haven't pushed me and encouraged me a lot, but they've also never told me to stop doing it. And I would say that my sister has been most supportive of my music. A lot of friends uh, that I have, uh, they have supported me a lot. Uh, my name is Roshan aka Beat Raw. I'm 20 years old. I started beatboxing four years ago. We have done a lot in many clubs, in college festivals. Hi, my name is Gravity. I'm a rapper and part of Bombay Local, co-founder of the crew and uh, been doing this for the last two years. And uh, I'm a crewmate of Decipher. We used to jam a lot in the studio, like uh, both of them would beatbox and we would like freestyle over it. Beatbox is no longer a buttress of hip hop, but a standalone creative art form. In the future, I will wish that people will go and go. In the coming 2-3 years, we will see a big boom for beatboxing. Beatboxers should do more collaborative projects with other musicians, with singers, or with dancers, or with people who are, uh, like, who, who are basically uh, involved in another art form. So if, if there is a collaborative thing that's going on, and I think beatboxing will really flourish over there. As artists, we must learn to be self-nourishing. We must alert enough to consciously replenish our creativity.
Rolling. Rolling. Sound. Action. <laughs>